yes friends we'll start now so what's our requirement you remember everyone um the starting of our course we install two servers two green boxes one yellow box you remember everyone two green boxes one yellow box yes sir yes you remember everyone please do you remember that yep yes sir others what happened silent today waiting for weekend or what waiting for weekend it comes and goes others do you remember me please do you hear yes, me sir. others others ravya sriharsha yes, ali madhavi archana please shake your mic please please take it sir yes, sir fine our yes, sir. this is our requirement let's understand how to perform join of two tables across across two different servers right that's our requirement what we do there let's understand we need to first launch a low box connect to two green boxes this is optional the second green box connection from the left yellow box is optional because anyway we are going to connect from the first green box right this is completely optional let's have the yellow box to first green box here it is starting up our course our demo class notes yellow to first green and yellow to second green you remember now yellow to first green yellow to second green please everyone do you remember this i'll wait yes sir yes sir perfect yes sir next yes, sravya m please shake your mic please shake your mic divya kiran please shake your mic please let's continue now what we do once we establish connection then let's create database one flight table database two reservation tables in the first server i'll connect to the first server and create database called db1 table called flight table remember joins concept earlier flight reservations you remember that flight reservations joins example yes sir yes sir yes abhitnya k do you hear me check your mic please check your mic please abhitnya k please check your mic abhitnya k please yes sir please yes sir fine fine right click second server new query in the second query what we do reservation table these are the tables we learnt in the joins concept chapter number 7 now first server has flight table second server has reservation table what we did so far install sql server two times first time second time then launch the tool connect to both servers this is optional because anyway we are going to connect from the first server itself just make sure it is installed now connect to the database flight table reservation table ready requirement how to access second table data from first I mean second table data from first server first database we need to get the complete name of the second server firstly get complete name of the second server right click second server new query right click second server new query type there select at at server name type 
at that server name. Copy the server name. Select at that server name, copy the server name to the output. Say in this case, you have this server name. Now go to first server, expand server, right click object, right click server objects folder. New linked server. Go to first server, server objects, right click new linked server. You'll do it after the class. I'll stay back after the class. You'll do it carefully. Right click new linked server. Provide the server name. Which server name? Whatever name you report or retrieve from the server at that server name, that server you have to provide. That name you have to provide. You remember installation notes. Server name equal to computer name backslash instance name. You remember that everyone long, long ago before last week installation notes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Others who are not responding for them long, long ago before last week installation notes. In this installation notes, you see server name equal to computer name backslash instance name. That server name format we are using here. Computer name backslash instance name. Same information you supply. Here it is. Server name equal to A slash B. Complete server name you get here in the output of the query. Give it. Security logins current security context. Logins current security context. Okay, next. Go to server options. Data access true or PC to true. Data access true or PC to true. Remote procedure call to true. Data access true. Remote procedure call to true. What is this? Yes. These flags, once we set, even RPC out should be true. Three flags should be set to true for remote access. One for remote reads, remote procedure call for remote reads. And RPC out for remote writes. I mean, from first server, we'll be able to connect and operate on the second server. Read operations RPC, read write operations RPC out. If RPC is set to true from first server, we can read second server data. RPC out to true, meaning from first server, we can insert or update or delete the other data. I mean the second server data. Click OK. One more thing. Server options. Make sure everything is true. I repeat once again. Right click. Linked server. Select SQL server. Whatever server you extracted from the previous query. Add that server name. This query. Give that server name here. Complete server name. No space. Third option means Windows authentication. Third option, Windows authentication. Server option, data access true, RPC true, out to true. Okay, next. 
once you supply all these content next click okay and one more thing once you click okay before we implement remote joins test the query test remote query right click first server new query paste the below script this one sql school server 2 is there right this one so select star from server name dot database name dot next schema name dot table name do you remember this format server database table schema table do you remember that chapter number five schemas concept remember now server has database database has schema schema has table yes. remember this please everyone chapter five others yes the same concept yes sir yes server dot database dot schema dot table server dot database dot schema dot table we know default schema is dbo so copy and go to the first server and run it first why is square brackets here come on why to use square brackets when to use square brackets do you remember that yes yes please a space and symbols exactly chapter number four space symbols whenever the column has space or special character symbols we make use of this special characters okay next step come on what's our requirement remote joins right isn't it we need to implement remote joins how let's see select from select from where is our table here first table db1 right isn't it getting it everyone please database one right yes, db1 this one what's the table name flight table flight join join second table on f dot craft code equal to r dot here it is r dot reservation exactly reservation dot in second table columns craft underscore code craft underscore code like this just ignore the red underlines flight table in server one reservation table in server two join we get the data side by side remember we are connected to first server only joining the content of second server see here now come on how to save this query in the database how to save this query in the database come on i'll wait by using views yes we can make use of views right isn't it create view view for 
flight reservations as like this and how to test the view select and from view name view name where is this view getting created in the first server so from one server we can access the data of second server this concept is called remote joins okay concept is called remote joins remember this so what are the steps now firstly install two servers server 1 server 2 connect then first server first database one table second server second database another table from first server we need to access data of second server we need to access the data of second server so first get the server name then go to server objects new linked server see here once again go to first server server objects new linked server provide that server name security third option server options rpc true out to true data access to true these three with this information we learned how to perform remote join and execute the query so this way you'll do the concept of joining two different tables two different servers let's go for questions before you will implement this item in your computers right now in next few minutes you will start the practice part yes friends anyone any questions let me know please i'll wait 